So we're gonna show you some historic places <laughs> for us personally in Berlin. This place right here is our very first ever re rehearsal space called Oceanland. And we're gonna try to make our way in there right now. It's not a promise that this will work, so let's see. Well, it's down there, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the, the, the space was under this parking lot and uh, it's a huge underground room. And we made the space accessible over the course of a couple of weeks and build a little studio in there, but very improvised. We actually recorded Fog Diver down there and then we recorded pretty much Fluxion and Aeolian. Some of us even lived there for some time, but then they kicked us out. Uh, must have been like already 10 years ago now. So there you go, but this is boring, let's move on. So now we're gonna check out some venues that we've played throughout the 20 years that this band has been around. Um, most of them are in Kreuzberg. That would have been today, actually. Oben playing Festsaal Kreuzberg. It's a sad day that this is not happening. So we're here in front of the Wild at Heart, one of the old uh, punk clubs and rockabilly clubs in Berlin. And the Ocean actually played our second ever show here. Uh, must have been like 20 years ago. And there was lots of drama around that gig, as we were just, uh, as, as we just remembered. It was some stupid story about the, a girlfriend of uh, a former band member being kicked out and she was really drunk and got thrown out of the venue and then there was a big, big fight and uh, we didn't make ourselves very popular at this show. And yeah, it's, since it's so close to our rehearsal space, we ended up here at the bar uh, drinking more than a few nights in our history. Let's move on, huh? Yeah. So now that you've seen the first venue we've ever played, uh, this is the last venue we've played called Lido. Um, we played here two years ago with LLNN and Brickville, and it was a good night. Sold out, the last show of the year for us. This used to be an old cinema. I have a lot of good memories to this place. Played here at least five or six times. Let's move on. until we actually close the door. So, sorry about that. We'll see you later. See you on the other side. Oh, that was a hard cut. Yeah. That was unexpected. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what you do at the end of a long club night in Berlin. You get into this cabin, play a stupid track, Smoke it out, and you're happy. Super well prepared. Beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here at RAW Gelände. I try to pronounce that. It's an old train station that has been turned into like a kind of like a cultural spot with a bunch of venues. There is Cassiopeia and uh, there is also a it's venue Badehaus. here called White Rabbit and Badehaus, which was also part of Pelagic Fest. It's two relatively small capacity venues, but there's always nice punk and hardcore shows there and uh, a really cool beer garden. And it's just a nice area, like a big space. Uh, there's a, a market here on Sundays as well. I think this was actually supposed to be sold to an investor and uh, the city kind of forced him to to build this uh, new house back there. It's the House of Music, which inhabits noisy rooms now. This is actually where I started uh, rehearsing with one of my first bands. So maybe let's check out the Cassiopeia. So this is uh, the infamous beer garden of Cassiopeia. <laughs> a nice, small, 250 capacity venue in Berlin where we've played a bunch of times and uh, also had a lot of other Pelagic bands play. And we also did Pelagic Fest here. Oh, 
sit out here in the beer garden, have a drink, and it's usually full of people. <laughs> it's not now. You hang out with friends, have a drink, and then go inside, see a cool band. Shut up! Then you could climb the so-called Kegel, and it's just a nice alternative area in Berlin. All right, uh, let's go to Holzmark now, which is another awesome spot close to the Spree River um, where you can hang out. So this is Holzmarkt 25. Um, this is a really interesting place. Um, this whole area here was basically under threat or still is for many years by a big real estate development project called Media Spree. There was a call for bids by the city of Berlin for this place and there were lots of big capital investors and hedge funds all placing bids. But the party that actually won the bid was former club owners of a legendary Berlin club called Bar 25, which was just across the fence from here. They won the bid for this place and turned it into something that is really hard to grasp. It's uh, There is an accessible river shore. There is even like a beaver breeding station. <laughs> Although I've never seen a beaver in this contaminated, polluted river. There is a theater. There is even a nursery for children, for mothers who want to go party and take drugs and give their children for uh, care while they do so. It's a really progressive approaches to, uh, to culture in a way. So now that we've checked out some of our favorite places, let's go to a space where we actually talk and work music with our label of Legic Records. This is it. Uh, thanks for joining us in this little Berlin metal tour. <laughs> to our favorite places. Uh, so metal. So metal. This is the Pelagic Records warehouse and we're gonna show you a little bit of our collection now. Welcome to the dungeon. So yeah, this is our little warehouse where we pack records, or Dennis mostly. That's my job. Hi, I'm Dennis. We've been in here since um, 2017 only. Before that Pelagic was a basement enterprise basically run out of my own basement and at one point um, it was just not working out anymore so then we rented this space here in Kreuzberg and now it's already filled up again to the ceiling we actually spent all of last week cleaning it up to make it presentable the new ocean record is due to arrive very soon that will be 15 or 16 pallets of vinyl so imagine where these will go but we'll find a way and figure it out somehow bye bye, bye. bye.